Hello hi and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn about work manager which is an API provided by Google to perform some background tasks in our application so let's get into the theory of this first of all and then we will see how we can use this inside our Android project the first thing that we can see this is the documentation provided by the Google you can go through this documentation I will provide this inside the description below so there are different uh, types of this persistent work that a work manager can perform there is three to be named the immediate long running and deferable immediate as the name suggests the task that you want to run it immediately and complete soon then there is something called long running where we can add tasks which can take a lot longer time and then there is something called deferable which basically means that you want to start the task at a later time or you want to run it periodically okay and this is how you can access all these different types with the use of different classes provided by the work manager then there is something called constraints that you can also add so for example you can add a constraint stating that if only the battery percentage of the device is let's say 15 percent you want to perform certain tasks or you want to run the particular worker let's say there is a task where it takes a certain amount of battery and that is why you have to check before if the battery is up to that particular limit or not so you can add a lot of different constraints to it you can go through the particular this particular uh, hyperlink and you can see the different constraints that you can use for the particular worker and then the, as you can see there are a lot of different things i am going through some of the important ones then there is something called work chaining where you can add multiple workers one after the another you can change i mean you can chain all those workers together for example let's say you have a task where you have to let's say get the image or let us take the example of the project that we are going to work on so we are going to create a project where we are going to fetch the image from the gallery we are going to compress the image and we are going to save the image so for the later uh, uh, task that is for compressing the image and for saving it we are going to use two different workers one for compression one for saving and we are going to chain these workers together so the first one will actually compress the image and the second one will save the image to the directory okay and you can as i said you can go through this particular documentation at your own pace um, let's jump straight into the android studio and see how we can use this particular api in our project so this is the project uh, that we're going to work on it's very simple we just want to see how the work manager actually works so in this particular project what we are going to do is we are going to upload the image as i said we are going to click on this particular card it will open up the gallery we will select the image that we want to compress and then once the image is selected it will display a button you click on the button it will compress the image and it will save the image to the directory so let's first of all see the uh, project structure this is how the project looks like so we have added uh, a repository and view model and a factory also and in the dependency aspect this is the important one this is what we need for the work manager so we need to add work runtime kdx and if you want you can use your model if you don't want it's totally up to you but uh, if you are following the good uh, clean uh, architecture then it is recommended that you use view model so that is what we are going to do so we are going to use view model in factory and repository as i said so let's first of all see how we will uh, create the repository um, the view model factory in the workers then we will come back to the ui because the ui is not the concern over here so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create an interface called iWorker repository which is having one function called compress work compress image which takes in uri and then we are going to use this interface in a class called worker repository which takes in context and we will extend it with iWorker repository and then we will uh, create an instance of work manager and override the compress image function where we are actually going to build both the workers and call and chain them together so you can see uh, these are the two workers that we want and we want to chain these two workers together so the first worker is compressed worker the second is the save image worker so this, let's see how we can create th these two workers first we will go to the compress worker so uh, in the compress worker what we have are doing is we are taking two parameters the first one is context the second is the work, worker parameters which is required by the coroutine worker that is what we are going to extend the class with this is the recommended worker that we should use since it 
follows the coroutine concept of Kotlin. And once you have extended this class, it will ask you to override the do work function. So this is the function which will be triggered when this worker is called, or when this worker is built and when, uh, so whatever the logic you want to perform inside the worker should come inside this particular function. So what we want to do here is that we want to get the image URI that we have uploaded from the gallery and then we want to compress the image and whatever the uh, compressed images we have to save it to a local file and pass the URI to the second worker which will actually save that particular file to an external file okay so three steps simple steps the first one is to get the image URI so we will get the image URI by calling input data dot get string it is similar concept as we have used in intents where we have to pass some data between two classes between two activities of fragments we are using intents and we are calling the get set functions on it so here what we are doing is we are calling the get string and we are passing this as the key which will return back the URI as a string as a value and then we are going to pass that string to convert into a URI that is getting saved inside this variable and then this is an optional uh, step if you want you can add this so what I'm doing here is I'm, I am displaying a notification which uh, tells us what uh, which worker is performing right now so this will tell us that we are compressing the image as soon as this is triggered it will get the URI and it will uh, call the or it will display the notification if you want you can go through this inside the code that I will provide in the description but it's an optional step you can use a toast also to display that so once these two things are done then what we have to do is we have to uh, return the compressed image right so we are going to use an IO dispatcher for this and inside this as you can see there are three steps that I have written the first one is the compression the second is to write the compressed image to a temporary file and then finally pass the URI of the temporary file to the uh, next worker okay or let's say if you want to simply return that you can use that too for that purpose too the first thing that we are doing here is we are decoding the stream uh, we are calling the decode stream on the resource URI that we got at the top and then we are calling the compress function we are lowering the quality and we are getting the byte array inside this particular variable very simple three step decoding the stream of the URI uh, creating uh, a variable called byte array output stream which will have the byte array of the compressed image then we are calling the compress function providing the byte array variable in which you want to have that data and saving that as a byte array in a variable called byte array then when we are going to write this byte array to a temporary file for that we are calling application context files directory and this is the temporary file name that we have given here and we are going to write that byte array inside this file and the last step here is to pass this as a data to the next worker so what we are doing here is we are building a data by calling the builder function on it and we are calling the put string so as I said uh, we are following the get get set basically I meant put and get methods that we have used in intents also so similarly we are calling put string and we are keeping this as the key for the URI of the compressed image and we are passing the value as the temporary files URI as a string and we are building it as a data type and they are finally passing it inside result.success as output data so to reiterate what we are doing in the first few lines we are compressing the image by decoding the the resource URI that we have provided calling the compress function having the compressed uh, data converted to a, to a byte array and writing that byte array to a temporary file and then finally creating a data I mean a variable of data type that is required by the workers by uh, putting the key as the compressed image URI and uh, the value as the file URI converted to a string type so compressed image URI as you can see this is the worker util that I have created where I have also have the, the notification function too so this is where uh, all the utility related thing is written you can go through this in the code that I will provide now once this is done once all this thing works so what will happen here is we will define this worker first now what we want to do is we want to save that particular file right so uh, before going that, there 
uh, if you remember we need to first of all provide the uri right we have to first of all provide the uri to the compress worker so for that we can use set input data and we have to pass the data in the as a type of data so this is the data type that is required as the params so what we have to do is we have to convert the uri that we have to the type data so for that i have created this function which will basically do the same thing as you have seen in the previous uh, as you have seen in the compress worker where we are just creating a data type variable same thing is happening over here we are having a key and value pair and we are passing that to the uh, compress worker now for this uh, the save image worker what it will do is we will again define the save image worker to this particular variable so if you open this this is very simple straightforward everything is same as before just simply inside the try catch block what we need to do is we need to get the uri from the key that we have uh, saved it in so we have saved the compressed image uri for in the compressed image uri key so once we get we call get string on this it will give us back the compressed image uri as a string then we need to get the file of that uri and then we will read the data inside that file and will then we will write that data to an external directory so what we are doing here is basically we are just taking the data that is there in the temporary file and saving it inside an external directory file that's it so as up till here we have just we get the file from the uri from the compressed image uri of the temporary file we are reading that data from that particular file by creating an external file by calling that external file directory and then we are writing that data that we got here in the form of byte array inside a particular file that's it once we have written this it will save the compressed image uri to the external directory so if you go back you can see what we are doing here is we are calling the work manager and we are telling that we have to begin with the compress worker first of all let's let us refactor this let us rename it to let's say compress worker which will make much more sense and then we have to perform the save image worker and we have to queue these two things together that's it so this is where all the core work worker related methods are getting called and the functionality is getting performed now you can use this directly if you want but since i have used view model we have to add a few more files the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a worker factory as you can see here i have created a worker factory so this is how you create a worker factory by by defining the type of the class factory as the view model provider dot factory which will basically return the worker view model by passing the worker repository that we have provided to the worker factory i'm not going too much into this worker and view model thing factory and view model thing right now so as i said this is optional it's totally up to you and then in the worker view model uh, again we are again passing the worker repository and then we are calling we are creating a function called compress image which will finally call the the worker repository dot compress image so this is the function that we have just created in the repository and we'll call this via worker view model because we want the ui layer to access all these functionalities via view model itself that is why we don't want to expose directly the worker repository in the ui but even this is not i would say the best approach you, it would be better if you use some sort of di library which will make it much more cleaner okay which we will see in the upcoming videos now after this uh, let's go back to the actual ui so here you can see we have a composable called work manager screen which is this entire screen the ui is pretty straightforward there is a card this card is basically this image picker card so what we are doing here is inside the screen i have defined few things here the first one is the image uri that will be updated as soon as we get the image from the gallery second is the uh, worker factory that we are defining here by passing the worker repository as the parameter and then we are again defining or getting the worker view model by by calling view model and passing the factory inside this we are having a column uh, and a composable called image picker card which is having a callback of uh, of the uri that we are fetching from the gallery so if you open this here you can see there are few things that i have defined an image uri state bitmap multiple state a context 
and a launcher so this launcher is basically what will help us to open the gallery and get the uri i have used activity result contracts for this so uh, this is the modern approach to perform all these intent related tasks so i'm calling activity result contracts and i'm getting the uri from the gallery updating the image uri state and also passing this as the callback as in the callback too so what will happen here is uh, uh, if you see we have a bitmap also over here so if the bitmap value is null it will uh, have this card as you can see and as soon as the value is updated we want to change this card to the actual image that we have that we got from the gallery so for that if you scroll down you can see what we are doing here is we are, we are seeing that uh, the image uri is value and as soon as the value is updated as soon as it is not null what we are doing here is we are updating the bitmap value as you can see over here and as soon as the bitmap value is updated we are adding a composable and image composable by passing the bitmap as the parameter so in short to give you a small TD tldr what is happening here is uh, as uh, till the time there is no image uri with us we are displaying this card and as soon as we got it got the image we are replacing the card with an image composable by passing the bitmap of that particular uri that's it and when, as soon as we got the image URI, we are calling the callback function, which will be triggered over here, which will update the image URI over here. And as soon as that image URI is updated, it will display the button. As you can see, I have added a check over here for that. It will uh, update the button and we can remove this also. And we can remove the check for you because we are already checking it outside. So what we are doing here is as soon as the image URI is updated, we are displaying the button and as soon as we click on the button, it will call the compress function on the view model and it will perform all the tasks that we went through and perform both the workers functions and it will save the image to the external directory. That's it. That's pretty much it. So the main core concept here is how we have to use the worker in our project that you have seen inside the worker repository. It is pretty straightforward you can add a lot of workers to it you can add multiple workers for the different things the different tasks that you want to perform okay so now let's see how it actually looks like uh, so what we have will do here is we will click on this card and we'll say let's say select this particular image as you can see what happened here is as soon as i clicked on the card it will call the launcher and as soon as I select the launcher, it will get, give me back the URI, it will update the image URI over here. And as soon as the image URI is updated, two things will happen, it will call the callback function. Uh, so as soon as we get the URI, two things will happen, it will call the callback function as well as it will update the bitmap value. And as soon as the bitmap value is updated, as you can see the image composable appears with the given bitmap of the URI. As well as, as I said, the callback function is called so image uri for this also updates and the button is visible now now if i click on the button what will happen you will get a notification on the top the first one will be very quick which will say compressing image the second one will say saving image so if you remember the the these are the uh, function that we have added in both the workers the first one should uh, show compressing image the second one will should so show saving image if I click on compress image, now you can see quickly both things happened, right? So now to check if it worked or not, what we have to do is we have to open files, the local directory, you have to go to the uh, local storage of the particular device, Android, data, look for your application, for me it's this one, go to files and you can see we get the image. As compress underscore image dot jpg so that's pretty much it for this particular video if you have stayed till the end please leave a like if you found this useful please subscribe to the channel and share this particular video we'll see you in the next video bye